Yo, it's Marty VR, and today we're going to be talking about the best and newest casting method for the Quest 3. So, the new update for the Oculus Developer Hub just came out today, and it's pretty great. This is what I've been asking for, for so long, as just a content creator, is to be able to capture slash cast your quest using a wire instead of internet. So now they finally added that a new update. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up, because I've already tried it before. And honestly, this is the best method. So if you're a streamer, if you're trying to record clips, or really anything with your Quest 3 that's standalone, this is it. This is it. I don't even want to beat around the bush. Let's get into it. Something I do want to warn you guys about before we get into the video is that this is a wire casting method. So if you are scared of wires, like a lot of people are with Quest SS, this is not the method for you. But this is the best method with the most consistent bit rate and quality that I've ever seen. So. What I personally recommend is the AMVR wire management system because it works and I haven't had to worry about a wire since I got it. So use that or figure it out. Moving on. All right, guys. So first you have to download Oculus Developer Hub. So this is the first step. This is the website. I'll put this in the link below because it is kind of confusing if you search it up, but Marty Dude got you. So this is the site you go down and you just click download now. So just click download now. They'll take you here to like the latest version of which is November 2nd. And so click download button for version 4.11. After that, accept it and it should download up there. Oh yeah, quick shout out to my boy Jay Dunn, Mr. Getting Things Done for putting me on to this update. And he also has a tutorial showing you how to set this up also. But just without the new update, obviously. So go check them out too. Real quick, guys, you do have to go to your MetaQuest app to turn on developer mode. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your app, go to your Quest 3 headset, go to headset settings. Then you go to developer mode and then turn it on. So mine says debug mode, but yours should say developer mode. All right, guys, so this is another step that you may have to do um, just in case, you know, before we go to developer mode. So you're on the MetaQuest developer Oculus.com site. Go to the top right, sign in, and then go to my apps. So you go to my apps, it's going to load. So what you're going to have to do is create an org. So I forgot I did this a long time ago. So I forgot I had to update this stuff. So go to the top left, or it may say something else for you. But for me, I have this drop down menu to the top left up here. And it says Marty's org. So I have an org already created. But you just go in and create another one if you want to. Name it, you know, click the confirm box, and then boom, you got a, another org made. So. Just in case you have to go back and do that, make sure you do it ahead of time. Just to, you know, hand, just check out the box just in case. It won't hurt you or anything like that. Just go do it. All right, guys, now we're in the developer hub. So this is a really useful application if you're making content. So you can see my org is right here. And now, so now I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the developer hub. Not too much, but it's enough so you can get moving. So what's cool about this, if you plug your headset up, you can actually check all your files here in the file manager. So if you download videos, photos, screenshots, all that stuff, you can access it here. But the main thing you wanna see is the device manager. All right guys, so we're back. So reconnect everything, got my headset charged a little bit so I can do this video. <laughs> so I plugged my headset in and this popped up. So this should pop up for you also, and it should just automatically take everything. Now there is a wireless way to connect this. But that obviously defeats the point of having the new cast method. So you've been warned. If you guys want, I can show you another video how to connect it wirelessly, but you really won't need it now because of this method. So now what you want to do is, now that you have all your information here, and you have a lot of cool options here. So you can record a video while having it connected to, the wire connected to your Quest 3. You can do screenshots. You can do, uh, you can turn on the option to connect over Wi-Fi, which is a really cool option to have. But the one you're here for today is the beta cast 2.0. So this is the new update and this update is fire because now it shows with higher resolution and a way clearer display. And if you're a content creator like me, being able to record standalone gameplay is important. It helps with marketing VR and we all eat. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this beta cast 2.0 button. It's going to connect, establish connection. And now you have visual. So. It's cool because you can manipulate this, this uh, as you want. You can do left eye, you can do right eye. I'm also on Discord, shout out to the Discord. And so you can also change this to 16 by nine, which makes it crop, 
and makes it look a lot better. So now this window can be captured within OBS or any other software like that. And now you can have a really clean standalone stream for Quest games. This changes the game by a lot. Like we got Strive Fates coming out soon, Sniper Elite. And now I can show you guys all the great gameplay with this new tool. Also, if you want to have audio, there's a button to unmute um, audio. So you can hear everything going on in the headset and all that stuff. And then you can also take a screenshot with this button. You can start recording within the casting window, which is nice. And just as an extra, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to add this to OBS. All right, guys, now we're in OBS. So I'm gonna show you guys how to add this as a source for your stream. So we have the window on my right monitor over here. So as you see it right here, this is the cast window. Look at my hand, look at my hand. And so I'm gonna show, move that to the right. And so what I'm gonna show you guys is how to add it as a source. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna click this plus down here. And personally, I'm, I would do game capture over window capture because the window capture does have a little weird bug with it right now for some reason. So use game capture, boom, click that. And you can name this uh, casting window. I put cat in window, casting window, uh, quest three. So boom, make that, press OK. And so you can do capture any full screen uh, application, but for our case, since I don't think you can full screen this window, go to capture specific window. And so you're gonna go through here and for the window, you're gonna select the name of the casting window. So for me, it is casting. So I'm gonna select casting over here in the window section, boom. And now you can see we actually have our video. This is great. This is really great for content, man. This is great. And so we're gonna come down all these can pretty much stay the same. Match title is fine. Um, pretty much it. Press OK. And now you have the window over the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down some. So it's under my camera. So you guys can still see me. You're probably wondering how are we going to make this full screen? And I got an answer for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna right click, go to transform, and then go to fit to screen. So now we have a full screen casting window. And this is great because look, we can move our headset around, do everything we need to do, and it works. Guys, this changes everything. That's pretty much all you have to do. If you want a tutorial on how to actually connect this wirelessly, I will show you guys anytime you want. But right now, this is the best method for capturing standalone VR gameplay out right now. And it is in beta. So you might have to update your headset. You might have to update uh, your Quest Developer Hub if you don't have it. And you might have to wait for it to roll out to you. So if you don't see any of this, you've been warned at the end of the video. <laughs> All right, guys, pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. I definitely love doing these quick tutorials. If you want me to do a wireless connection tutorial for MetaQuest Developer Hub, let me know. <laughs> Please let me know, because I can get that done really fast. But before you guys go, Make sure you get some prescription lenses from VR Rock. They just came in. I love them. I'm not doing a full video of them, but on them just because, I, well, honestly, they didn't pay for it, my lenses. So, you know how that goes. <laughs> Use the code MARTYVR in the description below if you want to support the channel. Make sure you join the channel. We got perks coming. Make sure you join the Discord. We just had a big event for FNAF. We all watched the movie. It was great. Check out the FNAF movie if you're a FNAF fan. It is really fun. But other than that, it's me, YDVR. And remember, I'm just do what VR has said. Peace.